having a successful business is fantastic until you get a bunch of leads pouring in asking questions for sales inventory stock support and so much more so it becomes overwhelming well when we get to that point we're going to need a system just like this one it's called Respond IO, and it lets us unify the inbox from all social media accounts, inbox, etc., into one single system where we can respond to everything here. Plus, we're able to implement the AI agents from Respond. Now, one of the key things that I personally think that Respond shines is having multiple agents in one single system. Why is this important? Because let's just say that you build an AI agent and you provide all the information of how it's going to behave, how it's going to guide and how it's going to respond. Well, it doesn't work all the time the way you want to, because that might be a receptionist. But what if you need to jump into support or inventory or sales? Well, in response, you can create multiple AI agents for each one of these situations, and they can pass the lead to a designated area that will better respond to them. So that means that if they're asking for support, it'll jump into the support agent, which is pretty cool. Plus, you can also jump in at any time. OK, so let's jump into the dashboard. This is Respond.io. And if you want to check it out, link provided in the description. Now, to get started with AI agents, we're going to jump into the AI agents section. Now, in this case, I have four agents that are going to do the job practically for me. And each one of these has a different task and they'll jump in when needed. So we have a receptionist to get started. And if this turns out to be a sales question, it'll jump to the sales agent. And if this is about support, support agent. And if it's about inventory, it's going to jump to the inventory agent. So let me go ahead and test this out for you. So right now I have connected uh, Telegram for this testing purposes and I have my form right here. I am going to just say hello. So right now I am saying hello. Respond is going to do his job. The receptionist is going to kick in first because that's how I have it designated. And what I'm going to do is ask something about inventory. So the receptionist should turn this over to the inventory agent. So let me go ahead and ask it right now. OK, here we go. Send this off. We should receive it over here and it'll understand that this is about an inventory question. OK, here we go. I just got the response. So the receptionist just turned this over to the inventory agent. You can see this right here, inventory agent. So now the inventory agent is taking care of this chat. So it passed that information to someone who is more qualified. In this case, an agent is more qualified for the type of question that is being asked. Now to build these agents, it's super easy. So just go over here, go ahead and create an agent. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and open one of these so you understand how it works. I manually created the inventory agent to give it a different context in this case. And just to give you an idea of how you can use this. So I gave it this instruction here. So I told it that this agent is going to be responsible for delivering inventory information. And here's a bit of information for this, the role and communication style, the top level flow. And you can just write here manually and just type. And once you're done, go ahead and optimize and it'll automatically structure it for you, which makes the things pretty easy. OK, then you have the actions. So in this case, you can turn this on if you like. So we got the close conversation. So are you going to give it the power in this case to close the conversation in case something is fine. So let's just say that everything was fine. The client got the information and it said thank you. Then it has the power to close. If not, you can go ahead and turn this off. You can also assign to an agent or team. And in this case, for example, if the client has no questions related to inventory, then go ahead and assign it to the receptionist agent. So just like that, you can pass it to a different agent or a physical person. So in this case, if the customer is angry, then assign it to me. So I'm going to personally take care of this if it knows it's angry. So you get an idea of how you can do this. You can also optimize right here and you have the option to send these over to different agents or human agents straight from here. So you can just go ahead and assign it, describe what you want, and it'll do it. OK, you also have the option to update lifecycle stages. So in case you want to enable this, just go ahead and trigger this on and go through the flow right here. Then update contact fields. So if there's new data coming in and you want it to allow it to update the details, you can turn this on. So, for example, that would be great for the receptionist, not for this one. But you get the idea. Then we have the knowledge sources, which is super important. So it has those details. In this case, I've added some sites where I have coffee grinders. I also added, like, for example, the coffee stock prices, which I think is pretty interesting because daily it's going to grab the coffee pricing for the stock and it's going to provide that information in case someone asks it. It's just a cool idea that I wanted to add there. So just go ahead and name something here and you have the option to upload a file or add a website and you can decide 
how frequently you want it to grab the information when it changes. So uh, never in case it's a landing page or daily, weekly or monthly in case it updates a bit frequently. So you have those options available there. So once you have that set up, you have the option to test it out right here, which I highly recommend that you start asking some questions here. So you make sure that the AI agent is going to work the way you want it. OK, so go ahead and go through this process, set it up and build the rest of the agents that you are going to need. So in this case, I have, for example, the receptionist, which is going to get started, then I have the sales agent, support agent, and depending on what my needs are going to be, it's the agent that I'm going to create. So let me give you a quick rundown of the receptionist here, just to give you an idea of how this one is going to behave. So here's the context. Here's the wrong communication, the top flow, some examples of how it should respond. Then we have the actions. So in this case, it can close the conversation. You can assign to agents depending on the situation. So for example, in this case, if it's sales, buy and purchase assigned to sales agent. If it's support issue assigned to the support agent, inventory to inventory agent, so on and so forth. The update lifecycle stages. This one is set up because it's the receptionist. We have the update contact fields. So yes, it does have the capability in this case, but not the other agent because that's how I wanted it to set up. And we also have the knowledge source here. So you can upload all the knowledge that you're going to need and just enable what you wanted to have available to each one of these agents. So in this case, it doesn't have access to the inventory. That is not your job. Your job is to do the receptionist part and the rest leave it up to the rest. OK, so you have all these available options here in response to take care of your needs. So aside from all that, you have your powerful CRM right here where you have all your contacts. We're going to you're going to nurture your leads where you're going to view your inbox and be able to take care of these either with the uh, agent or manly. But you're not jumping into several inboxes all over the place to respond to your clients. You'll be able to do them right here with a unified inbox. So definitely take advantage of the AI agents and create them right now and use them to take care of your clients. It's better to have designated agents for each one of these situations instead of having just one that knows a bit about everything, but it's not a professional. In this case, I have a professional one for each one of these situations. So that is Respond.io. If you want to check it out, sign up in the link in the description. And that's a wrap.